these sandals tore my ass up. Do you hear me? They hurt. I think I threw these jokers in the giveaway bag. And on my channel, I do sneakers, fashion, and beauty. So if you're into those things, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, help your girl get some rotation going around. Let the people on YouTube see me. So go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let's interact. I do comment back. Now, what I want to come on here real quick and do is go over some of my outfits from 2021. I have my iPad here and I put out some of my top looks on Instagram. I will be putting them on the side so you guys can see them. So we're going to go through them real quick and we're going to critique. So the way I chose these pictures was I went by the pictures that had the most interactions. So that means the most likes, the most comments and things like that. And I found 10 pictures. So we're going to go through them real quick. They're in no type of order. They're just how I was scrolling and I went through them. So the first picture is a Juneteenth look. It is this black dress and it has black and smart. And I have on some um, Jordan 1 mids with a black sock. Now, looking at this picture, um, the outfit is it's cool. I mean, it's giving. I was giving, I call myself giving Juneteenth vibes with the black and smart. Honestly, though, low key, I probably would have just threw on um just i could have just threw on a low top i do have a black and red low top now that i will wear this dress with i will also wear this dress with just a black slide depending on the weather and the vibe but for the most part i think that this is a pretty dope decent look i will say though that wearing this dress it is kind of irritating i'm not really big on tying the knots on the long dresses so I think in the future when I wear this dress, I'll just let it flow. And like I said, I'll probably wear a sandal only because I don't like to have to tie and retie and try to get that knot. And eventually it starts to look a little sloppy. So all in all, overall, I like this look. I think it was great for Juneteenth. But when I wear this dress again, I'll probably wear it flowy, like a maxi flowy and probably with a sandal or a low top sneaker. So next we have the sneakers that I was talking about, my low top Jordan 1s and the black and red, the bread. And I have on this um, black jumper with a denim jacket and my coach bag. I was actually going to brunch for this. This is a great brunch outfit because if you eat too much, you start to get a little bloated. It covers it and it's really comfortable. It is sleeveless and it has a V-neck and I wore it with my red frames and I'm so mad because the frames that's in these pictures, I wore them to work. I wore them on a train on my way to work and I left them on a the train and I have not gotten back. Like, how do you keep somebody's prescription glasses? What are you doing with them? You can't see out of them. I know you can't. But yeah, all in all, I really like this look. I wouldn't change anything about this look. The red lip is popping. The frames is popping. The shoes is popping. The bag is popping. The jack, everything is doing what it's supposed to do. And this was a nice um, spring, spring brunch outfit. So it worked. So next, first of all, let's talk about the quality of this picture. Come on, sunny day. Sunny day, that's what's going on here. But on this picture, I have on this tan jogger and I have on my Candyverse Adidas and I have on my Coach Crossbody. I was actually going to breakfast or I had just had breakfast. The only thing I hate about this jogging suit is that it has the sticker on it. So that's that white little thing that you're seeing on it. It had that sticker on it and when I tried to take it off, of course, it stuck. But one, I love the quality of this picture. I love how bright it is. I love how the colors are just flowing. It's giving summer vibes. This was kind of um, late summer, 
early fall. As a matter of fact, this was in October. And so, you know, in October, you get those up and down weathers where it's fall, but it's still hot. So this day I was able to wear this jogging suit and I did need a jacket. I think that the pop of colors that's in this shoe, my um, Adidas Candy Verse is rocking. Oh, I got two pictures in here. Okay, so I can show you the second picture. What it really gives the outfit. I love the funnel neck on this jogger. I love joggers that sometimes have a little different. It gives it a little feminine touch and you can kind of play around with it. I love that. Only thing I would change is this bag. I would have preferred maybe doing um, either a lighter tan, like a mustard color bag or something with these colors in it from the shoes. But I just don't think that this bag is really giving with it. And of course, I went because this was daytime, I went with a neuter look and I have on actually these glasses. So I do love this jogging suit. I've worn this jogging suit a couple of times. I will only change the purse. Love the shoes. And I've actually worn it with, while these shoes was great, I've worn this with um, my Jordan 4 shimmers and it looks completely a whole lot different. No, I think I've worn it with those and I've worn it with my um, Jordan 1 Miss the paint stroke, brush stroke, yeah. Those really go with this really well. So speaking of the Jordan 4 shimmers, so now I have on this jumper. It's like a jogger jumper. I got this jumper from Express. The jogger suit I got from Rainbow. That jumper I ordered online from Sweeney Style. And what was the first? I have to go back and I'll show you. But so this I have on this Express jogger and I have on um, this um, what do you, trench coat? I love that. This trench coat, which I believe is Tommy. I have on this tan coach bag. And like I said, my Jordan 4 shimmers. So I was trying to give like a monochromatic look where everything was all in one color. I really like this look. I wore this to work. I think it gave a nice casual outfit for work and you still stay professional. I wouldn't change anything about this. Maybe a more updated coach bag. But other than that, I wouldn't change anything. I love everything about it. The shoes, the jumper, the way it all flowed. I like that. So this one, I think I got a lot of likes. This is a lot of favorites for everybody on Instagram. Um, this is a cheetah, a cheetah print dress that I got from Shein. And I matched it with my oversized coach tote bag and a denim jacket with my red and black Jordan Lowe's. I think the red and the, the red from my purse and the shoes kind of contrast really well. I love adding red with a cheetah print. I think it just pops. It gives it a pop of color. Um, would I change anything about this? Um... I wish this dress was a tad bit longer. I don't know if I will be wearing this dress next summer. Just because it seems a little short to me as I look at it. I don't know. It's very flowy. So if I do wear it, I would probably have to wear um, some type of biking shorts or um, a body shaper or something. Just because I don't want to, you know give somebody a little tease or whatever but other than that i like that look i love this picture i took this picture on my way to work at the train station i just propped my phone took the picture i think it is nice and bright um and the angle and the way everything works i just think it all works together all in all so next we have a very bright picture this shirt i got from amazon and it's this multicolored shirt it has turquoise and red and yellows and all these shirts that I think is great for the summertime and I paired it with just a pair of jeans I was going to work and my white air ones I had the white air ones with the gum but um gum sole bottle bottom and another picture that I took on the train I got a lot of pictures right there that was like one of my spots and so this picture I mean this outfit it was just a casual outfit. It wasn't nothing great. I think the reason that it got so many likes is because of the quality of the picture. 
because it's just a shirt and some jeans. If I would change anything, I would probably do a darker jean with this just to let that shirt pop some more. Um, yeah, I really wouldn't change much. And I probably would wear the shirt open and throw maybe a tank under it just to give it something different. I really wouldn't even wear this shirt with jeans. I only did it for work. I would like to wear this shirt more so with like some cutoff shorts with those Air Ones. I think that'd be a better vibe. But all in all, it's a great picture and it's doing what it's supposed to do. I like it. It's cool. So next we have, I have on this shirt and it's a contrast shirt with black. It has like a, it's not, it's an animal print. It's given like cheetah snake. I don't know what that is. White. And I have it with this um, high-waisted black pencil skirt. And I threw it on with these um, very bright yellow um, Air Max 95s. I love this picture. I'm not really a fan of this outfit, but I do love this picture. Um, I love these pictures. So this has a slide. So I do love these pictures. I love the quality of the picture. I love how bright, sunny it is. This is what it was in the summertime in Chicago. Um, but I really wasn't a fan of this outfit. I wouldn't do these socks. I definitely wouldn't do these uh these air max with these it's not really a vibe honestly looking at this outfit i would have rather done a sandal than wearing a gym shoe if i'm just being honest i would have preferred to just wear a sandal a basic black sandal would have been nice it would have gave it a more put together look um it's fine but yeah it's not my favorite out well the skirt and the shirt is cool the shoes i'm not really a fan of and i love the picture so if i change anything it would be the shoes but okay i really love this pose with the leg cross and the way i'm looking and i took these pictures on my lunch break at work so if you are a content creator like me and you work or if you're trying to be a content creator as myself and you work a full-time job and you don't have time to Take a day and go take a bunch of pictures. Wear, take pictures in your out work outfits and just find some good spots and just take some nice quality pictures like I did here. Next, I have on this animal print, cheetah print um, short set. It is the shorts and the blazer. I got this from Shein and I did something different. Typically, when people wear cheetah, they're wearing tan, brown, red, whatever. I decided to pair it with this hunter green um, cami tank and these sandals that I will never wear again. These sandals tore my ass up. Do you hear me? They hurt. I think I threw these jokers in the giveaway bag. We will never wear these again. So what am I changing? The shoes. I would not have done these shoes. I think I have some other shoes that I could have worn. I will find me another wedge sandal that I could wear that's way comfortable. As you can see, if you look at these, my toes is trying to escape. So yeah, that's the only thing that I would change. I loved everything about this. Um, this was at a rooftop bar. Not a fan, but I love the outfit and I think these are some very nice pictures. Next, I have just this pink dress. It's this very vibrant, like fuchsia pink dress and it's that tiered dress where you have like the three layers. I really do like those dresses, especially in the summertime. And it matched very matchy matchy here with my Air, Nike Air Max 270 Reacts. I think that's what these are. I think those are the names. And yeah, um, I love wearing sneakers with dresses. Um, I really wouldn't change much about this this is just a dress and some sneakers that i wore uh a nice picture i took this in my backyard i really don't think i would change anything because it's basic the only thing is i would probably do a bolder lip color yeah i would do a bolder lip color because this lip is non-existent so yeah i would do a bolder pink lip color just to go ahead and just tie everything together um and that's it um and probably a i'm guessing i have on a no-show sock and and looking at it i'm not really a fan of that 
I probably would have wore a different kind of sock or I would have just changed the shoe out and wore a sandal. I probably wouldn't wear these. I definitely probably won't wear these shoes with this dress again. So last but certainly not least, I wore this outfit to a brunch and I have on this fedora hat, um, those glasses that I lost. Too mad. Um, a tan jacket. This shirt that has um has Fanny Lou um, Hammer, uh, Harriet Tubman, Sir Jonah Truth, and some other um, names, some jeans, and these tie-up, lace-up, over-the-knee boots. Um, do I have a picture standing? Oh, of course not. So um, I really like this outfit. I thought that this was a nice casual outfit for brunch. Um, this was, I was, you know, a little t-shirt with a shirt over it and the hat. I think the hat is what kind of elevated the look as well as the boots. If I was to change anything in this picture, and this is a quality picture, if I change anything, it would be the lip, maybe. Just because I'm so into red lips now, it wouldn't necessarily have to be a red lip. I would probably do more of a um, darker liner with that pink. I don't know. I don't know. It's something about that lip that I don't like. And I think I would lose the fedora. Because my hair is so short, it's kind of taken away from my hair. So, I think I would lose the fedora. The fedora is not given. It's not given. And it's a little off from the boots and the shirt. So, I think if the fedora was more um, on a taupey side, then maybe a taupey side or maybe even this rust color. I think a different color fedora would be great. So I would change the lip color and I would change the fedora because this fedora is not really hitting for me. So is that it? Yes, those are all 10 looks. These are my, these were my top rated pictures on Instagram. I do plan on, you know, pulling more pictures out next year. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. If you're not already, I'll go ahead and link that in my description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.